For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem where we have M1, M2, and M3 magnitudes, and they want you to find the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant couple moment. So basically what you got to do is you got to find the Cartesian vector form of all these moments and then add them together. Very easy. You know that M1 has a magnitude of 180 pounds per foot. And you know that M1 is aiming straight parallel to the y-axis. So you know that the Cartesian vector form of M1 is equal to 0 in the i plus 180 in the j plus 0 in the k. 1 down, 3 to go. M2 has a magnitude of 90 pounds, now the uh, foot pounds. And you know that M2 is going straight in the negative x direction, parallel to the x, going towards the negative x. So you know that the Cartesian vector form of M2 is equal to negative 90 in the i, plus 0 in the j, plus 0 in the k. Now M3 gets a little bit more complicated. You know that the magnitude of M3 is equal to 120 foot pounds or pounds per foot. Now, how do you find the Cartesian vector form? Well, we're going to find the univector aiming parallel to M3 and we're going to multiply that magnitude by that univector. Now, you need to find the univector then that is parallel to M3 and to do that, we're going to find this point right here called point A and you know that this is the origin. So A, as you can see, sits at 2 in the i, minus 2 in the j, plus 1 in the k. And the magnitude of A, which is found by doing the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square, 2 square plus 2 square plus 1 square all square rooted, comes out to be exactly 3. So the univector is found by dividing A by its magnitude, so 2 divided by 3, negative 2 divided by 3, and 1 divided by 3. And you get that the univector is 0 0.667 in the i, minus 0 0.667 in the j, plus 0.333 in the k. Now that we have the univector, finding the Cartesian vector form of M3, let me put M2 in a square so we can spot them easily. M3 is equal to the magnitude of M3 times the univector which is found. And that uh, Cartesian vector form comes out to be 80 in the i minus 80 in the j plus 40 in the k. 3 down, 1 to go. Now, we have this 150 pounds per foot moment. But we have uh, some angles over here, so that's what we're going to do. So let's call this M4. M4. Now, we have this projection right here that we're going to find first, right here. This projection, let me scroll down so I have more space. That projection is the projection of, the, of M4 into the X and Y plane. So let's call it M4 into the X and Y plane and that projection can be found by trigonometry by multiplying 150 times the cosine of 45 150 cosine of 45 and it comes out to be 106.1 Once we have that projection we can find the X and Y components The X component is positive because it's going towards the positive X M, X, M, this is uh, actually M4 in the X is given by that projection m4xy times the sine of 45 because we're given that angle right here so sine of 45 and it comes out to be 75 the y projection m4y is given by the projection into the x and y plane times the cosine of 45 which is also 75 and the c is negative 
and it's going straight down and it's given by this vector right here and it's found by multiplying the 150 times the sine of 45 and it's negative because it's going down so it comes out to be minus 106.1 so as you can see m4 is equal to 75 minus 75 is minus because the y is going towards the negative y so positive uh, 75 in the i minus 75 in the j minus 106.1 in the k and we have the Cartesian vector form of all the moments thus far so let me start a new layer so basically, the sum of the moments is simply equal to m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus m4. You add the i's with the i's, the j's with the, k, the j's, and the k's with the k's. And you get that the sum of the moments is equal to 65 in the i plus 25 in the j minus 66.1 in the k. Then you need to find the magnitude of this resultant uh, the, of the sum of the moments basically by doing what we've been doing so far x component square plus y component square plus c component square and it is equal to 96 uh, pounds per foot that's the magnitude of the sum of the moments now to find the coordinate this is the magnitude which is what they wanted you to find now to find the coordinate direction angles Basically, what you gotta do is the cosine inverse of the x component over the magnitude, cosine inverse of the y component over the magnitude, and cosine inverse of the c component over the magnitude. So this is the x component, this is the y component, this is the c component. Don't forget the negative sign on the ones with a negative sign. And you're going to get that the, and the magnitude is of course this one right here. And you're going to get that the coordinate direction angles are 47.4 degrees, 74.9 degrees, and 133.5 degrees. Final answer for the coordinate direction angles and final answer for the magnitude. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.